We've been working through short, sweet video tutorials on the Singer SE9180, and I wanna make sure that you have mastered your needle threader. So I'm gonna take you step-by-step, step showing you a few tricks, as well as a few things to avoid. Yes, we did do part of this when we did our threading video, which we talk about threading and winding a bobbin and how to get your bobbin in correctly. So we'll link right up here to that full video where we do talk about this as well. But if you're just looking to master your needle threader, this is the one you wanna watch. And make sure that you click like as you watch any of our videos that helps us continue to make more content for other Singer users going forward. So one of the things that can be uh, a trouble is like you get frustrated and then you stop using it. And that's one thing I wanna help you realize that you always wanna use your needle threader. It's so easy once you get the hang of it, don't give up. Now on the flip side, you gotta remember that a little needle threader that is a very small hook that is coming through the back of your needle to take the thread from the front to the back and through the eye is very, very small and delicate. So if you feel like that little kind of hook has gotten bent a little, no matter how many times you try, it is not going to work. You might need to actually re-bend it back to be centered. You might be able to see that. But if you can't, just have your local soy machine store help you with that. And you don't have to go to a Stinger store. Like any soy machine store that sells soy machines can help you with your needle threader. So don't be afraid to ask for help if you're just not getting it. And they can even show you as well and make sure that it is lined up the way it needs to be. Another thing that can help is actually lowering down the presser foot, but make sure you don't lower that presser foot down until you have threaded the whole complete machine. And even after that last guide, don't forget there's one guide at the top of the needle. You're gonna wanna make sure your thread is in, but lowering it will put a little resistance on this thread. The tension discs close and now it's tight. So that can actually help. So it's not so loosey goosey trying to get it to go around all the the hooks here uh, and gives you a little bit more room and flexibility. So before we actually do the whole line up the thread, the lever you're using is off to the side. So as you bring it down, you gotta remember, you gotta bring it down all the way. The all the way, make sure that the head of the needle threader comes around the needle and goes through the eye. That way the thread can get pulled through. Now, another reason to use your needle threader and not skip is what if you get this needle in but you don't get it high enough. And now the eye is actually much lower. When you bring your needle threader down, you'll be able to see that you have, that they don't line up and you're like, oh yeah, that's right, I didn't get my needle high enough. And you can make sure that it is properly inserted before you start sewing with the needle lower than it should. That will cause other problems. So just keep that in mind too. My major trick that I always tell my students is to not try to catch this like before it comes down, but to bring it partially down and then hook the thread under this little arm. Okay, that's number one. Next, go ahead and push down all the way. And remember, all the way so it comes around. Next, take your right hand and bring the thread into the needle threader, and I'm lifting up a little bit so that it can kind of be seated in that little hook and it can pull it through. So you also need to do this in separate steps. You can't just go and it work, I mean almost, but once you get the hang of it. So as you bring it down, bring it down partially, hook it around, bring it down all the way, then put the thread in, lift up, and then let it pull it out of your hands. And that's my next tip. A lot of students wanna hold onto this thread and then they wonder why there's no little loop that comes through the back of the needle that is for you to pull through. You need to actually be holding it, but not holding it so it can't pull it out of your fingers. So there's a very gentle touch to the whole system. So down a little bit, around, all the way down next, then put the thread in, lift up just a little bit and then let go. And just like that, your thread will go right through the needle. Let's talk about needle sizes. Now, if that needle size gets 70 or smaller, the needle threader might not go through. I've had sometimes a needle threader will go through a size 70 needle, but sometimes it doesn't. So once you get to the smaller needles, you might be 
on your own for threading it the old fashioned way. So keep that in mind as you're doing it. But once you get the hang of it, this is flawless and it's so wonderful, especially since this machine is an embroidery machine and you're gonna be changing three, four, 10 colors for an embroidery design that's 10 times changing this thread. And then that way you, you're gonna to wanna to not have to always be like shooting the hole using your glasses and magnifying glasses and everything. Thing. Okay, the other thing you can do is once you are threaded is you can always do our little check that makes sure that the machine is threaded correctly. So when the foot is up, the thread pulls fairly gently. When the foot is down, it pulls on the needle. See how it's kind of bending a little bit? That means that the thread is in the tensions correctly. The tensions have closed on that thread and you're not gonna get those nasty loops on the back of your fabric. So if you are having that issue, just make sure that you re-thread the machine and make sure that everything is set. If the foot comes down and the thread is tight, you know you're ready to sew. I want you to practice your needle threader and kind of take a look, get in the rhythm. I mean, do it like 10 times and and just kind of get the feel for it and trust me it will be worth it in the long run when you can master the needle threader and it will be your best friend for all your sewing projects check out the playlist of all the videos we've done on this machine so you can master the sewing and embroidery parts to the fullest make sure you're clicking like on our videos and thank you for watching we'll see you at the next one